the sport of cycling is about to receive its very own state-of-the-art velodrome and to go along with it, there seems to be a bunch of young cyclists emerging, ready and waiting to make their mark on the international stage. Tonight, we begin to look at some of the best young cyclists in the country, beginning with two sisters with great potential. Cameraman Jerome Lane and reporter Kent Fuentes bring us that story. It's the future of local cycling in focus, and we begin with two sisters aiming to make this country proud both locally and internationally. Meet sisters Jordan and Colin St. George, two of the most promising junior female cyclists in the country. Colin, the all of the two sisters at age 17, is already a Pan American silver medalist and is poised for a bright future in the sport. They say I'm trying to go for the goal and hopefully I will championship. Where do you see yourself in five years' time? Commonwealth Games. Well, me and my sister, we're trying to go for the team sprint. In couple months, I'm trying to go for goal. At least I'm a little. Turn to 18. Also, younger sister Jordan is already making her name for herself and at the age of 15 has several junior records to her name. She shared some of her plans while adding having her sister on the track is an added bonus. Well, they say I'm trying to um, qualify to go for Nams. Yeah, and I'm hoping to do good. The best I could. Makes it more enjoyable and fun, exciting. The girls are coached by Anthony Selye, who says it was not really their talent on the bike that first caught his attention. About four years ago, I was in charge of a summer camp up here at the Velodrome. It was a cycling camp, and they were present at the camp. I happened to see the smaller one, Jordan, in a little running race. It was something that they were doing in between the cycling. And she was going so fast, I decided I would try her on the bike. And, you know, it just transferred to the bike just as well. And since then, they have been training and they have been developing. Small one has about 18 national titles. The big one also has Panama medals. It hasn't been an easy ride for the girls, who hail from Laventi Road, Sawa, a journey they make every night via public transportation after training. Having lost their father at a very early age, the girl's mother, Cheryl Ann, says their journey in the sport has been anything but easy, though it's improving. From the beginning it was hard being a single parent, um, but they love the sport so we go all out and I go all out to support them. But um, well, now we have a lot of support from the club, from different sponsors, so it, 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 it's a little easier now. With talent in abundance, the future looks bright for these two young ladies as they continue to strive for greatness. Kent Fuentes, C-Sports.